Thrifty running 1600, light on. Uh, to zone edgy, Tessa turned balked at the gates, but he lets them go and ball along from the inside with Bridgie Flyer bounced out okay. Tessa turn is heading up towards the lead, and Warface is going with him in the early stages. So Tessa turn goes through now to take up the lead on the inside of Warface as they swing towards the back of the course. Skeldax whipped up into third, ball along back to fourth the inside. Mazzaro it's outside midfield settling down, and then Wicked Promise Bridgie Flyer got back and Arta zone the last one. So working inside the 1,200 metre mark and Tessa Turn now allowed to lead and show out. He's a Benecki in front. Warface to the outside keeps him honest as they settle to the back. I reckon the pace is pretty genuine here. Running two lengths away in third spot was Skeldak on his own. A further three back to Mazzaro Borlung. A length wicked promise. Two lengths Bridgie Flyer the inside of Artizone who's starting to make a little bit of a move around the 800 metre mark. We're going to the lead now. Warface went away. A length in front now from Tessa Turn. So Warface up to the mile this afternoon for the first time. Shows out a length in front of Tessa Turn who again works up on his inside now and looks to be travelling a touch the better for mine. Skeldak third gets a good sit. Mazzaro stokes up from Borlung the inside and these horses are really starting to close on these leaders now. A gap in the field then to Wicked Promise well back before the turn then to Artisan who's making ground and Bridgie Flyer dropped out. So at the point of the turn 300 to go. Warface one off the fence. Tessa Turn the inside. Skeldak three wide. Borlung the fence needs a run. Mazzaro. Artisan try to chime in and Wicked Promise behind those but Skeldak he went to the front he put a bit of a break on him now with a great turn of foot and Skeldak racing away he's put this one away and Skeldak for Barry Huppers races down to the line to score over Mazzaro who was good Tessa turned third just in front of Artisan who closed off from Warface who didn't run bad over the mile Borlung didn't come into it with Bridgie Flyer and Wicked Promise the last one home Skeldak, a big finish here in the uh, final event for Barry Huppets. And that brings Barry home with a double this afternoon. And he might have uh, pinched the jockey's challenge. We'll stand by for these numbers. Skeldak came into the race down the side. And really, when Barry asked for the supreme effort, there was plenty there. And he's raced into some Paddy's Cup calculations big time. Skeldak on that performance this afternoon. 135.74 the time. Second goes to two. And that was Mazzaro for Paul Shires. And wasn't that a nice little hit out before the big one in about three weeks' time? He just closed off nicely. And we stand by for third, and that goes to four. And that was Tessa turn for Kim Gladwin. And uh, <coughs> picks up a point there. So Barry Huppets will win the Jockeys Challenge today. About $7 when they started betting. He was about the fourth pick in order. Fifth pick in order, in fact, and he's uh, ended up winning the day. So well under Baz there, a double certainly helps the cause. Second to two, Mazzaro. Third goes to four, Tessa Turn. Fifth to number five, and that was Artisan doing its best work late, coming from well back. Winner seven, Skeldak, a six-year-old bay yawning. Power of Destiny, Mighty Matilda for Emma Steele and Estill. Trained by Emma and ridden by Barry Uppers, who's had a good day this afternoon. Second to Mazzaro, five-year-old bay yawning. Nakoni, Chocoholic, Tayan Holder, poor size, everything looking good. For it going forward, and third goes to four, Tessa Turn, six year old bagel, he hard spun the fairest for Gary Clark, Kim Gladren. Ran better this afternoon. Had that pressure early with Warface, who stuck on pretty well, really, and it's ended up running fifth, Warface. So first up to the mile certainly didn't disappoint. I thought the pace was pretty solid in that affair. Fifth going to uh, the three there. So winner returns, uh, just looking for him now. Skeldak's about to come down the race. He's really putting it together here in the top end. He's, he's building up a nice record in Darwin, really, he's never run a bad race. And uh, it's his 31st start today. He's won five. He's had eight minor placings and prize money now up over the $90,000 mark. He's approaching the $100,000 mark, Skeldak. And the way he's going, he'll break that fairly shortly. We stand by for correct weight to bring us home.